You, uh, you look like you're pretty warmly uh, dressed uh, uh, for the day. Are you uh, are you trying to drop a pound or two? Or, or it's just how I uh, practice every year, all year. You see, you go back and look at the pictures from last year. I practiced long sleeve. I think that um, I had a coach in high school. He, he wore long sleeves all the time. He said, keep you a little cooler. Um, I mean, I, I was a little hot today, but I mean, it's, it's football weather, I, I call it. But I feel good, man. It's I don't. I mean, I'm not trying to drop a pound right now. I mean, it may happen while all this running around, but I'm just happy to be back out there in the groove, trying to get the groove of everything. Um, I mean, first day, I mean, first week actually doing full speed stuff um, with the team, especially. I mean, I felt good. Uh, I'm feeling good so far. Um, been three months uh, rehabbing, and just to be back out there with the guys, being in the means with the guys is. I feel good, so I feel, I'm happy to be back with the guys. Jeff, for you, is it being here, is it just a matter of uh, like getting conditioning? Is that what you're focused on? And, and why is it so important for you to, to be here at this point? Um, I wouldn't even say just condition. I think at this point, you know, the condition phases um, that we've been through, of course, this offseason, you want to be in shape, you want to get in shape. But um, like Coach said today, you know, early on when the guys was here during uh, the fr uh, first phase of OTAs and stuff like that, that's the condition part. Um, then it's come with the technique. Now we're on the field. Um, so I think my thing is just getting the, my feet back in the ground. You know, it's been, you know, a while since I've been healthy. Um, it's been a while since I've felt myself. Um, just being able to go out there and, you know, work on the bags, work with Coach T and individual. Then, you know, gets a couple of team reps. I think that's big for me. But, you know, when we talk about just uh, me being here, you know, this is what I love to do. I love the game of football. And, I, um, you know, I think when you – Trying to build your team, your championships, uh, trying to build a championship team, this is where it starts at. And, um, you know, being here was important to, is important to me. Um, getting healthy is important. Um, I'm not all the way there yet. Um, that's why I'm kind of working my way back into it now. So, like I said, just getting, getting back on the field with them guys, you know, is I feel good just to be back out there with them. And I think that, like I said, that's where you build your team. You know, the standard, uh, when we talk about the standard, when I, when they see me out there with the guys, you know, I think it means something to our team that, you know, um, even when I'm rehabbing or just out there running to the ball or whatever it may be, doing a pursuit drill uh, we did today, I think, just shows what we're about um, here in Tennessee. No matter who you are, you know, that's how we want some, we want people who are going to buy into our standards. You got your contract this off season. I mean, how much now is it you want to prove you can be even better and there's and not, not going to let up? Um, I wouldn't even call it trying to prove nothing. I don't want to, you know, my goal this year is not to try to prove who I am. Um, my goal is to, how can I be better than I was last year? Um, you know, especially healthy, uh, health wise, you know, I wasn't, um, a hundred percent. I want to go into this season here um, down in my weight. I want to be able to be consistent with that. I want to be consistent with my technique, my fundamentals. I want to be consistent, you know, with my leadership. Um, I think that's what I have to prove to this team. And, um, you know, how can I be consistent with them type of things, not trying to go out and prove, oh, you know, I'm better than this guy, I'm better than this guy in this league, um, you know, not trying to compete. Not one thing I even told my agent, you know, we, you know, I'm not trying to compete with the um, guys in this league when we talk about country. I want to, we know what's about here. We know who I am as a player. This organization uh, know who I am. That's why we got, came to an uh, agreement. So, you know, at this point in my uh, career now, it's just how can I be more consistent with my play? Sheen said that the expectation is that the front four gives this chance, team a chance to win every game. Is that where it starts for you? I mean, I, I, I've been, I'm a friend, but I've been saying that since I got here. You know, we, we talk about, um, you know, are we we're not getting turnover? We're talking about, you know, not affecting a quarterback. We, quarterback sitting in the pocket. I mean, it's, we closer to the ball than the DB. So, you know, if we, you know, not winning our one on ones, we're not coordinating our rush. We letting the quarterback get out of the pocket. It's 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 because of us up front. And, um, you know, that's where it starts at. Um, you know, we closer to the ball. When the ball center get his hand on the ball, we got a nose tackle right there. We got a three technique right there. So. Um, I'm a firm believer it start up front, no matter offense, defense, whatever. Um, so uh, we have to be better this year. Um, you know, we, we affect the quarterback a little bit, but, you know, when we talk about taking the next step, we're talking about, like, you know, not just batted balls at the line of scrimmage, not just, um, you know, sacks. How can we get the ball off the quarterback? Because that's where um, – that's who have touched the ball the most on the field because um, the quarterback have to touch the ball. So – my, um, that's the message, especially when we talk about turnover, you know, especially the front four, 
not just um, getting sacks. How can we get the ball off the quarterback too? Have you talked much with, with Kevin, Jeffrey, and, and uh, like Shane Bowen talked a little bit about, you know, him, him not being here. Maybe it's the, the young guys that, that would benefit maybe from his leadership here. Did, would you agree with that? Uh, I mean, I, I know KB reached out to these guys. I'm sure they're in a group message. Just like when I was rehabbing, I went out there with them guys. We're in a group message. Uh, I'm sure they talked to KB outside of the building. Um, you know, even, you know, Derrick just got back. I'm sure they, he talked to Tajay, guys like that. I, you know, I, when we talk about leadership, we don't, it's not about just what everyone sees, you know, we, not just on the field. Um, KB is a leader, not just of the stuff he do on the field. You know, even with the charity event he do, like, it's guys that, you know, he probably didn't even knew, know was coming. You know, they showed up. So I think that's how much we respect KB uh, as a leader. We know how much he means to this team. Guys respect KB, even the guys who haven't met KB personally in person yet. I'm sure he didn't reach out to them guys. Um, like I said, they in a group message and stuff like that. So, I mean, I know how much he means to this team with his leadership and his play. You know, I'm sure he, I see him posting when, when he's working out. So we know he's working hard and, you know, mini camp in two weeks. So I'm sure he'll be here for mini camp. So to just a couple of days now, but uh, you. You've seen the ideas that they're wanting on offense, but now that's starting to take those steps of putting those into place, what do you think this offense might be able to, to do better uh, going into this year? Uh, I think that we'll be able to operate a lot faster and a lot cleaner. We cleaned up a lot of, uh, you know, code words on our offense to changing, you know, long verbiages in the huddle to just, you know, single words so we can just play fast and just like one word will tell us the entire play and everybody knows where to line up. It's harder, obviously, to learn, but when we learn, it'll be easier to, to play. Last week, some of the new guys kind of marveled at how much work was being done <laughs> in the bubble and how hard the work was. Is it the same as last year or are there notable changes in the offseason workouts? Uh, no, it's the same as last year. We push sleds on Thursdays and we grind the whole week. So I feel like it's the same. It's so like when you, speaking of those workouts, when you see uh, Tannehill uh, yeah. in there, you know, and he's, he's not a youngster, uh, and, and he's going through the same kind of things that, that you are, and, and uh, you know, busting out. Nice to see that from from a leader, from a quarterback. You know, he's not a yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, he's a leader of our team, so you know, everything that he does, you know, we look at and seeing him, you know, grind and you know, uh, go hard. It makes us go hard as well because you know he's the one that you know is the guy in the forefront and leads us going, you know, ahead. Jay, what were some of the things that you specifically were looking to, to work on this offseason to improve for this year? Uh, this offseason, I was looking to, you know, be good in, you know, man-to-man -man route craft situations so I can be on the field for longer. Um, blocking, you know, just getting stronger and just uh, doing better with my steps. And then just getting more football knowledge of coverages. What's the big question for some of, some of the new guys in, in the tight end room, uh, mm -hmm. whether they're veterans or rookies, and, and what's that conversation like as you all try to help each other? Sorry, uh, like. Yeah, was Wesco or Wiley, even the new tight end, just came mm -hmm. aboard last week. What's the conversation like as you try to make each other better uh, through the off season? Uh, I feel like we're we're just all you know just trying to help each other. We're all just talking every day. You know, before we come out of practice, we all just make sure that we're all good on the script. You know, we're all you know just locked in and everybody knows what they're doing. Because um, you know, in our offense, we, we do a lot of stuff with tight ends, so we have a huge tight end room, and we, I think that's the way we push each other. We just, you know, always make sure everyone is, is all right and everyone knows what they're doing, so we can play hard and play fast. What have you seen out of Malik that's uh, so far in the off season that uh, has shown improvement? Uh, he seems a lot more uh, confident in the huddle. I'd say when, he, especially when he's calling the plays, and you know, with with his reads, he's a lot more decisive, and the ball, you know, still jumps out of his hands. He still has a great arm. I feel like he's he's gotten really really accurate too with his throws. What about from Will? What have you seen from him in the first couple of days? I see him. You know, he's just grinding. You know, he's just obviously as a rookie quarterback, you have a lot to learn. And for him, you know, he's just taking it in stride, and he understands where he is right now, and he just understands that he has to learn the offense for you know for him to be able to play, and then you know get that job, get the opportunity. Chick, how much does it help having Ryan around this offseason uh, for you as you try to build going into your second season? Uh, it's great because, you know, obviously Ryan is our quarterback, so it's, it's awesome having him there, having the guy that's going to be, you know, leading the team. You know, it's great to have him there. So, you know, the, t the right timing with him and just learning how to play with him, you know, the, 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 little, the little things that you can't really coach that you don't really see. I think those are probably the best things with having him here. The timing. Is that something that you've seen just between the two of you increasing, just get better? Oh, for sure. Time? I feel like there's a lot more trust between us now, a lot more familiar familiarity. 
So, uh, yeah, our timing, you know, it definitely has been a lot better. Tim Kelly had mentioned just, you know, to be a tight end in this offensive system, you got to do a lot, right? Mm-hmm. You're expected to do a lot. At what point last year did you feel like you got it and the confidence was building, and now this year do you feel like you're all the way there? Yeah, I would say this year I feel like I'm there now. It's just, it's just building more and more, but I would say um, – I'm sorry, I kind of forgot your question. Wait, how hard it is to play tight end in this specific oh, yeah. offense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of stuff that that we do in our offense with tight ends, and uh, we we're asked to do a lot. So obviously, we have to you know study more because you know everything that we know in the pass game we do, everything in the run game we do, everything on special teams we do. So we're kind of that Swiss Army knife type of player, and we just have to you know you just have to study more, and you have to be in your playbook more, so you can have more opportunities to be on the field and make plays. What are your impressions of Josh, and how do you think you two will be able to play off of each other? Oh, Josh is really good. I think he's really good. He uh, has a very good understanding about like routes and how to create separation. And on top of that, he's fast and he's tall, so he's a mismatch in a lot of spots on the field as well. So last year you talked a lot about coming in and, and proving that you could create a role on this team and finding where you fit in. Do you feel like you know that now? Or are you still kind of trying to carve out what your role should be in this team? No, I know my role on this team. Um, I know that I have a big role on this team this year, and I embrace that because that's the type of player that I want to be. I want to be a great player. So I know my role on this team to lead the tight ends, to be that guy in that room, and I'm uh, ready to do that. What does that mean in terms of production in your mind? In terms of production? Yeah. Man, I don't know about production. Just go out there and, and play with confidence, and we'll see what the numbers say at the end of the year. What does it mean in terms of responsibility, being a second-year guy and being a leader in the room? I mean, yeah, I mean, everything. I mean, it just comes with everything, you know, being, you know, the first guy out there, whether it's being the first guy, you know, getting there up early and, you know, meeting, uh, just trying to lead by example with effort, with, um, you know, just maybe talking to them in the huddle, just being encouraging guys, you know, just trying to make that, that step for me as a player, you know, just using my voice more. What's the like? You know, everything's different, I guess, when you're a rookie, and I think you talked last year about maybe the, some of the tough love. He showed you. Is it different? It's a lot different now. Like now, now we come in, we smile, we, we shake, we shake hands every day. You know, we're laughing and stuff. It's yeah. it's no more like you know as a rookie. It's like even if you do it right, you did it wrong. It's no more of that. But yeah, I think uh, it, it's a lot more fun with him now. Is that something you can share with some of the rookies too, especially a guy like Josh? Like, hey, you got to earn Brable's respect in this. Yeah, I, I remember I talked to them and I was saying I was like, you have to like. With him, it's like you have to earn it. It doesn't matter like how good you are. Like, he doesn't care. Like you have to show him first. You have to earn it. So with them, I always say like, and don't you know, don't let that you know the talk get in here. That's what he does to all the rookies because he wants to get you prepared for the NFL. So I would say like you know, just understand the message and not the delivery, and uh, they'll be fine. I know these guys talk a lot about how he, how he calls on them in team meetings, tries to catch them. I catch him off guard, but just wants to make sure you know your stuff. Did you ever have a time last year in a meeting where he asked you a question you didn't know the answer and it was embarrassing? Every day. <laughs> Every single day. I mean, yeah, that's the, uh, that's, the, that's the tough part about, you know, being a rookie. Like, you're more nervous about going into the meetings than you are, you know, going to practice. Practice is a lot more fun than the meetings because you never know. Like, you know you're getting a question called on you that day. And you don't know what he's going to ask you. So, and as always, it's embarrassing, obviously, not knowing the question in front of your, all your teammates. But that's also, like, a big thing about our team is, like, you, if you know your stuff, like your teammates respect you when he asks you a question because it's like, oh, he got that. He knows what he's doing. Like I can trust him on the field next to me. Well, the question's pretty fair, or did he, did he throw some real like? The questions are stuff that that you should. The questions are stuff that you should know. So it's like just stuff like that you should know. But you know, when you're trying to learn so much stuff, you kind of forget some things, and sometimes you get caught. But you just say, I don't know, and you move on. How many right answers? I had a lot of right answers, actually. I had a pretty good, I had a pretty good amount of right answers. I think, I think I was pretty good with that. Jake, last two days with the team, has it been fun getting out there? Do you feel like it's gone well so far? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's just fun playing football for me. So I love being out there and just love running around and you know just getting to showcase talent and just play with the guys. You know, just trying to build camaraderie with the the team, the new guys coming in. It has been fun, you know, grinding and the bubble and stuff. Just competing against each other has definitely been a fun time for us. As you step in and start learning this new offense, mm-hmm. is there anything that stands out to you that may be different from uh, previous stops? Uh, no, not really. I had TK as offensive coordinator in my first year in Houston, so uh, I'm a little familiar with the offense, but it's still there's always different wrinkles and stuff coaches put in, so I'm just trying to learn it up, pick it up the best I can. How was the that familiarity going to, you know, you're wanting to come here knowing Tim Kelly was a previous OC you worked with? Um, a little bit, but at the end of the day, I just wanted to be in an organization that was had an established culture and that, that was trying to win ball games. So I was just excited when I came on my visit and met with the coaches and felt that energy 
to come here. What did you kind of do, trying to do to get on the same page with Ryan Tannehill and develop some chemistry with him? Man, it was just when we do the routes on the air, anytime we run a routes, just you got to you got to be there when he where he expects you. Uh, Ryan's very detailed on where he wants you to be, and you just got to be there when he wants you, and that's how you build that chemistry and trust with him, really. What's the pick? You come in, in the building on a new team, getting to know new teammates, coaches, and what do you hope people learn about you early early on? I know you've been here for a couple of months, yeah. but what, what kind of impression do you want to make in off season? Um, definitely, I just want my teammates to know that they can rely on me on the field. Uh, I'm going to be out there doing whatever they need me to do to help them win. Um, it's, it's always fun going into a new building, learning new faces. This is actually a very welcoming organization. Uh, people really get to know you. They, they're interested in who you are as a person. So I've been, it's been a great time these few first months. What's the your numbers for? last year? Chris, you had, had a big jump in, your, in a lot of your production last mm -hmm. year. What were some of the things that kind of led to that? Just being able to be – somebody let me get an opportunity to play receiver. That's really all it was. I, I, got a, I feel like I got an opportunity to continually be out on the field and, just continue to get targets, and that's what led to better numbers. How appealing was this as a landing spot, given the opportunity that's obviously here? Oh, it's very appealing. I just, at the end of the day, for me personally, it's it's not really about numbers or anything. It's about being an organization that wants to win games and wants to play football, because I just love the game of football, and that's all I want to do. Kind of I'm a, an interesting position for you, because you're you're obviously new, but you're still kind of the old guy in, in the room. I mean, do you, do you feel like is there a sense of leadership just because there's so many? Young guys uh, in there with you? Yeah, I mean, I just try to. I don't. I don't try to treat anybody different just because I'm older and they're younger. But I definitely try to give them as much knowledge as I can give them. If they ask me anything, I'm open to give them any knowledge. Even if they don't ask me, I'll tell them little things that I know that allowed me to play in the NFL for this long. I just try to drop little gems whenever I can. What kind of blocker are you? What kind of blocker I am? Man, I I could do whatever they need me to do. I, like I said, first I'm a football player and then a receiver. So whatever they need me to do, I'm gonna do it. Can be fickle. Any apprehension towards wearing number eleven, or you just don't care? I ain't gonna lie. At first, I didn't even think about that. I just Nick had number fifteen. I was like, I need another team number, and then eleven would look smooth on me. So I was like, that's what I was gonna pick. And then I realized after the what I did, but <laughs> I still like it. I mean, it is what it is. You were attracted to the culture when your decision to come here. What have you seen and, or what has stood out to you about the Titans culture the last couple of weeks? Yeah, definitely, uh, it's just the willingness to want to win. Like, they do the little details, everything matters. Braves, uh, he has a lot of just key things that he's established here for the culture. The players play hard. And like I said, when I first came here, it was they were so welcoming and everybody was getting to know your name. Everybody just wants to know who you are as a person. It's because you got to be able to trust those people when you're on the field and that they're going to be able to do the right things next to you. So all those little things added up to it. You mentioned working with Tina Hill. Like, how do you feel about your chemistry? What, what are the necessary steps the next couple of weeks for you to continue to build off that? What's, how do you do that? Yeah, like I said, just in meetings and stuff, when we watch film, especially with him, he gives very detailed things of where he expects you to be. And it's just continue me personally just to be where he wants me to be so he could trust that I'm going to be there and just continue to just get as many reps with him as I can. What are your early impressions on Traylon, on Kyle, on Nick, and just kind of where do you think the strengths of this room lie? Um, it's something that I think we're just going to see throughout camp. Um, I'm impressed by them so far. They're all great ball players, and they're all willing to work very hard to continue to uh, better their craft. So we'll see as the, the, as the camp goes on. There's a lot of talk about the group not being that good. You look in publications, and they say, you know, you guys are bottom five in the league. Is that something that you take personally? I don't really listen to any of that because, to be honest, that's just people's opinions who aren't in, in this building and who aren't don't see exactly what goes on every day and don't know the full situation. So I just take it with a grain of salt. And all we can really do personally is just work every day and just try to win games because that's all that really matters at the end of the day. If we're winning games, it doesn't matter what the numbers are.